but there is a difference between the right hand side of the bag and the left hand side of the bag. Both sides completely different. They have different functions, different reasons. There is Molly on the outside. I don't personally use it right now. Now you could. I don't have any reason to. Um, really for me, this is one of the greatest features and I know a feature that VanQuest is very happy with. They are actually very proud of coming up with this idea and I have to say this works extremely well. Here you have a zippable water bottle pocket. It's gusseted, it expands, but when you don't need it, you zip it out of the way. This has been a great feature. So here you'll see a full 32 ounce Yeti, which fits in here absolutely perfect. Nice and snug, no real worries that it's gonna fall out. I have no security issues whatsoever. I've actually had taller now jeans in here with no problem. I keep my water bottle in here. I carry it with me every single day. It has no problem. It's never been an issue and I greatly like this pocket. It fits water bottles perfectly, gives you the ability if you don't want this in here simply to zip it up and get it out of the way. It is very nicely done. Now another subtle thing is even if you thought you had a little bit of a security issue with your water bottle, you can potentially put this shock cord. So they do have this little bit of shock cord on the inside here. Gives you the ability to kind of tether it in if you need to. I haven't found I needed that. And actually, if you look, there is a second sort of bungee here. So sort of multi-purpose where maybe you want to put a tripod down inside this pocket and then have it bungeed up at the top. It gives you versatility, gives you flexibility, and the ability to use this for a multitude of different reasons. But then behind the water bottle pocket, here you have this interior sleeve. So for me, I don't put too much in here. I find that sometimes these bags that have a ton of organization can get into competition of space. So if you fill out one pocket, it kind of pushes into other areas of the bag. That's kind of what happens here if you're not careful. If I was to fill this inside up too much with bulky stuff, it would start to push to the outside of the bag. It would hinder my ability to properly put my water bottles. I really don't want to have that issue. So what I do is I put things that are fairly thin. So in this case, I have a couple of extra open sleeves, just the ability that if I get something, I can slide it in here. But I do keep my anchor battery, so here with the cables inside. And then I always need a ruler. So I do keep a ruler right there as well. Now, I also have a ruler on the inside of my notebook, but I don't always want to have to pull my notebook out just to get to my ruler. So do kind of have a second one here, constantly using rulers, and it's something that's just easy and convenient. Now you will notice that there is a keeper in here, so maybe you have something that you want to put on here. Maybe you want to keep keys in here. It's not personally for me the place where I would do it, but you certainly have the option. Again, back to the YKK zippers, very smooth. Now you'll notice that each zipper on this is maybe a slightly different size. They use different size zippers for different reasons, depending on the track. They mount them slightly different. Most of them are inverted so that they are protected. They do not seem to be rubberized, so not completely weatherproof, but certainly weather resistant. And then the fact that they're inverted, good to protect the zipper. So that's something that VanQuest always does. They think about how you're gonna use the bag. They think about the longevity and the ability to use these in good hard use without damage. Now again, on the outside of the bag here, a couple of loops. Now I personally have just found that I wanna put pens in there, no big deal. However, for VanQuest and just a consideration for the future, I had a thought. If you notice these loops here, they have them on the front of the bag, but not really so much on the back. Now here I have some nice sort of quick connect style straps. So in reality, these are very easy to use. So what I would really love to do is have the ability to clip one of these on like this and then run it to the back side and clip one on well, where? There's nowhere to clip this on. It would be absolutely awesome to have another one of these tabs on the back so I can clip this on and it makes a beautiful lashing point. So then you have a couple of options. You could lash things on the outside, not necessarily having to expand this. The bungee is strong, but maybe not as stiff as webbing. So if you had a tripod or something you wanted to put in here, and then you wanted the ability basically to use a strap and tighten it down, this would work great. So I think having the additional little loops on the back side somewhere in here 
Now, it would certainly work on the top. I don't know if there's competition of space once you get into the zippers. That would be something to consider for VanQuest to see if they could work it out. But to me, having that option and the ability to add a strap like this would definitely be sweet. Now, moving on to the front of the pack, here you'll see there is a nice combination molly slash velcro field so depending on what you're looking to do if you want to add some pouches you certainly can in my case i'm not looking to add any more volume i'm not looking to add any more organization i'm simply looking to add a little bit of style so both on the top of the bag and the front of the bag tons of velcro the ability to add any more owl patches or anything like that a couple of nice grab handles right on the front. That's one thing that VanQuest has been doing. They've been kind of beefing up their grab handles. The ability to grab this bag from a number of different directions. So as you look around the bag, number of different handles, it just makes it flexible. It makes it easy. Gives you the ability to kind of manhandle this with ease. And then you're not stressing on one handle more than another. If you're constantly just grabbing at one handle, well, you're just going to be ripping the whole weight of the bag up. Now, if you have two, you kind of distribute that weight a little bit. It's easier to manage. Gives you a little bit of flexibility. So there is this sleeve right on the top. Again, you do have a little bit of molly, but you also have the Velcro field. The way they did this with this bungee, it's pretty cool. This ends up being a sleeve, which for me works out extremely well. I have my glasses right in there. So safety glasses for work, I just slide them right in there. It's perfect. I absolutely love the way this is shaped. I think it's very interesting where it doesn't really compete for space like some of these other things. If you look, it kind of makes its own space. It sticks out versus going in. So it doesn't have any issues with the pocket behind it. So what I find is when I get to work, I'll remove my laptop computer, I'll remove my notebook, get them out, set them aside. Then I kind of work out of this depending on what I'm trying to do a couple of different ways. Most of the time, I'll just set it down and I'll open up the top. And this is where I have some of the things that I go to fairly regularly. So I have a number of different pens of different colors. If I need one, I just grab the one I need. And when I'm done with it, I slide it right back into place. That works out very well. Now these are very small pens. They're called polka pens. I've actually found that these work great for me. They're collapsible, they're small. I have a couple of different colors here and I just keep them right there. Very convenient, easy to get to. Now in my diet, I always have stuff in my teeth. A little bit of dental floss definitely helps. So here I have my business cards right in the front. I have a nice little pack here. I can just grab one and hand them out when I need to. Now lately I've been shipping a whole bunch of my knives, working on the T17 project. I'm constantly going to the post office. I'm constantly shipping off my knives and I always have receipts for my shipping. I just keep them right here in the front so that when I get home, I know I can grab this. I can file things the way I need to. This is just a little reminder. I still have a little bit of work to do. A flash drive, chapstick, a lighter in case I need it. And here, just a little mojo. This is a Giant Mouse Shank Sharpeners Union coin. This is the uh, Blade Show 2019 sort of special edition handed directly to me by Jesper Voxness. Just a little memento, little token, something I keep in here as a little bit of mojo. Now back here, I keep my little EDC knife. So generally, this is where I keep some sort of a fixed blade knife. I eat a lot of reheated meals. I always need a good quality knife. So I kind of change these out depending on my mood, but it's always going to be something small, something that's non-assuming, looks like a kitchen knife or a, you know, a steak knife or something like that. Not a big crazy blade. Fits perfectly back here. Now this does have a little bit of Velcro, so fits perfectly, nice and easy, nice and thin low profile and just works very well in the top of my bag. And the last thing I have in here actually is a pair of headphones. I do a lot of editing and sometimes I need to do the editing in a place where I can't have the volume on my computer. So what I'll do is I'll actually take these headphones, pop them out of here, give myself good easy listening so I can do my editing. But this again, just a nice quality material, is a little bit see-through so you can see the contents in the bag has a nice soft lining on the interior in case you want to use it for sunglasses or something like that. Now again, if I'm working with this bag in the vertical position here, I can open up this front panel, get all of this exposed. Now this doesn't open 100%. It basically opens, I would say maybe two thirds. 
and at a little bit of an angle. It works perfectly fine for me. I don't have any problem with it. In fact, I completely understand where you don't really necessarily need this to open the whole way. Now, I'm not sure what the overall mentality was from VanQuest. I'm not going to second guess it. It works perfectly fine. And this actually gives you good quality access to the things inside. So for me right now, I basically just have an empty sleeve. I think what this is going to be for me in the winter, it's going to be my winter hat and a pair of gloves. They'll slide nicely down inside, good and tucked away, no problem. Now this is where I keep my keys. So I do have a number of keys that I need for work. Depending on what I'm trying to do, I don't always need them. So I kind of keep them in here. They're ready if I need them. They're at a moment's notice. They're in my EDC, so they're always with me. I just don't need to carry them on my body all the time. Oftentimes I will have a flashlight in my pocket, but just in case I forget, I do have a backup flashlight. And same with a pocket knife. 99% of the time I have my pocket knife. Some days I just wake up and something foolish happens. At least now I have a backup right in my EDC. Now if you look at the upper pocket, again, these aren't very tall pockets. It's really tough to put something like a full-size pen or a pencil in there. It doesn't really work so great. So what I found is for me, what actually works better is if I put my pencils down in this section of the bag. Now you do end up with this sort of stretchy bungee in here and then these pockets on the bottom. What I found actually works the best is if I tuck the pens and pencils kind of behind that webbing down into one of the pockets, that way they all kind of sit here. But I have a small assortment, a number of different colors, a couple of different erasers and things that I need on a regular basis. I use these every single day. I just keep them in here, good and organized at a fingertip. Little bottle opener. I actually don't use this at all, but it's just damn cool. Now the outside flap, again, does have a see-through pocket. There's some Velcro here, allows you to seal that off. For me, I don't use this all that much. The reason being, again, competition of space. Where I have my notebook on the outside, that takes up the perfect amount of room. I don't need to add anything else in here. Now that's the other thing, is this system can get quite heavy. My bag actually sets off the seat belt warning in the front of the car. I carry it next to me. It's certainly not a passenger. However, it does basically turn the functions off in the car. It gives me warnings, the seat belt dings. I have to take the seat belt and click it just to shut the thing up. These can get heavy. My bag is heavy enough. So again, where you have some competition of space and at the same time, you don't want it to be too heavy, there's no real good reason to load up every single pocket. So that's part of the reason why I have some vacancies. I have some empty space. It gives me versatility and flexibility if I want it, but I don't necessarily need to clog this up with unnecessary things. 